Okay, so I just want to make this quick little video on this whiteboard. So uh, let's talk about pricing. Um, pricing. Okay. Now, this is just a random example, but I want to show you sort of how pricing your product, especially if it's a monthly product, um, can really affect your long-term numbers, right? Um, and so let's look at an example. Let's say we have a product and we price it at, let's say, uh, is this a pen? I'll go with that. Okay. How do I get this to go away? There we go. So we say we're going to price our product at $59 a month. Okay. Now let's say we go and we speak to an audience and we get, let's say, eight people to sign up for our product. And let's say that that equals, let's go X there. Let's say that that equals $472 in monthly revenue. And let's assume if we can get them to stay for 12 months, that we're going to make $5,664, okay? So you get up on stage, you speak, price is $59, you got eight sales, you made $472 times 12, you made six grand for a 30 minute speech, right? Pretty good. <clears throat> I would say go do more of those. So let's say we uh, bring the price down to $49. And let's say that that price gets 16 people to sign up. And let's say we're talking to a pretty big room. So let's say we didn't have a really great closing ratio at this 59. Let's say it was just low, right? It was really small percentage of the people in the room actually bought at that price, okay? Let's say we go to 49 and we are able to get eight more people to sign up because $120 is still $120, especially when the average American has less than $400 in the bank. So we get an extra eight people to sign up, that's actually $784 in MRR times 12 is $9,408 that we'll make if they stay for 12 months. <clears throat> Pretty cool, right? And what are the odds of us keeping them for 12 months if the price is $10 lower than up here? Right, so obviously, if our price is lower, we're going to keep them longer. Right, that's what reasoning would say. Okay, let's go down to thirty-nine dollars, and let's say we were able to get eight more people to sign up because it's a good price and it sounds good. And you know what? I can try it. If I don't like it, I can cancel. Blah blah blah. Right, that's nine hundred and thirty-six dollars times twelve months equals eleven thousand. $232. Wow. So $39 is way more attractive to people than $59. I get three times the amount of people to sign up. My closing ratio starts to come up because the room's pretty decent sized room here. And all of a sudden I'm making almost a thousand dollars a month in MRR. And I'm probably going to keep them for 12 months compared to the scenario if this was my starting price here, we're just using this as a fake starting price, okay? So down here, I'm probably in this scenario at 39, and again, you have to see what these numbers are, so you have to price test, but I'm probably gonna keep those 39ers longer than I'm gonna keep the 59ers. Would you agree? Okay, so now let's say we're like, well, what if I go to $29 a month, right? $29 a month. Well, $29 a month, if I can get eight more people out of that room to sign up by going $29 a month, that means I got 32 sales. Now, here's what's interesting at this point. At 32 sales, I'm at $928 a month. But guess what? I'm right where I was at 39, but I'm $10 cheaper. So times 12, I'm actually making right around the same amount of money. I think I did that those numbers wrong. 928 times 12 is $11,136. So, what does that mean? If this was a if we really ran this test, this is our winner. Why? Because 
this is the lowest price point here. And we're going to keep them for longer than we would if we had this price point up here and we're trying to keep the same crowd for a longer period of time. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Pricing is not an easy topic. You definitely want to think about your pricing and you want to run your scenarios like this multiple times, then go test it. Then see this price point, get X amount of sales, see what the conversion rate is, whatever you're testing for sales material, whether it's a person speaking from a stage or whether it's a sales video or it's a webinar, it doesn't matter. They're all sales, they're sales tools, right? Even the guy speaking from stage is a sales tool. So basically, you, you know, you got to look at these numbers and say, okay, <clears throat> you know, let me start my pricing at a number and then test from there. Now, I'm not a pricing expert. I'm actually looking for, uh, right now, I'm trying to find a pricing expert. So if you know anyone, let me know. I'd love to interview them. I have a lot of questions about pricing and I'd love to bring somebody on uh, and do a call with them and get that on, on video. That would be amazing. Um, but I just want to make the point of, you know, many people don't know where to price or how to price. And if you look at your pricing this way and then realize that a lot of it plays into what's the conversion percentage here, right? You know, if I talk to 100 people, let's assume that there was 100 people in this crowd, right? And 8% of them, you know, took advantage. Here, 32% of them took advantage. That's that's a good number, but that's not outrageous. I mean, that's high for speaking from stage. But if the price is right, right, and they see the value and it's a super deal and it's going to be $99 later, but you're getting it for $29 now, right? Like that's a super deal. You, you just made yourself uh, what? Well, the problem is here in this scenario, this might not even stay 12 months. Right, depending on how robust your software is, number one, and number two, what the competition is charging. Right, you can't forget about the competition; they're there. Right, so the the fact is here. This might last for three months, and you make fifty nine, or let's say four seventy two, four seventy two times three. Right, I'm not a mathematician, but there's fourteen hundred and sixteen bucks. Right, whereas down here at twenty nine dollars, you can comfortably say, "Hey, I'll probably have all these people after a year." Right, I mean, who's canceling twenty nine bucks? And guess what? You made eleven thousand instead of fourteen hundred. So you're making ten times the amount of money selling your product for twenty nine bucks, right? In this scenario, all right. I hope this helps. Have a great day. Happy Friday, and uh, we'll talk with you soon. Bye.